And welcome everybody to Bedrock Dreams 2 Starshine Jungle. A while back I promised the map maker that I would play the map and I would do so uh, using the rules that matter style so you all can feel free to suggest rules for the series. Um, this is a unique map to say the least. <laughs> And the first rule that I'm going to go with, I think, is that I cannot say anything bad about the map itself or about the map maker. Uh, this map was made by the King, Emperor, Lord, Savior, and God of all that is CTM, Lols180, and also Chipmunk. Um, <laughs> And Lowell's is, uh, he is the savior of, of CTM. Everybody thought CTM was dead, but Lowell's resurrected it from the grave, and it is back with a vengeance now. And he is, he is such an amazing map maker that he is better than Chipmunk, better than Render, better than Helicio, better than all the map makers combined. So great, in fact, that even... Uh, even Vex bent a knee for Lowell's because Lowell's is just is just that friggin' awesome. The rules of the map, easy or harder, no peaceful. Uh, if you use keep inventory, you're bad and should feel bad. Three no inner chests, like really. Survive in any way you can think of. Don't cry. Put your head on my shoulder. I might cry. I might cry because I think that was one of the suggested rules is that I, I make it sound like I'm crying throughout the entire series, but I'm not going to do that. I might do that a little bit, but right right now we need to focus on on just, just making some progress. 1948312. 1948. Three, uh, okay, I don't know what that means. 1,948,312. Play C uh, Chimera Memories 4 over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Such a beautiful map, isn't it? It's pretty pretty amazing. Lowell's, Lowell's really outdid himself with this one, I think. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. Start the map. It is Bedrock Dreams, so we're going to be seeing lots of the Bedrock, I have a feeling. Um, I thought I kind of thought the entire map was made out of Bedrock, but I, I see some nice some nice block variation there, so... So that is that is nice to see. Instant health potion right off the bat, and arrows and a sword. Very nice. Uh, bet you want to get over there, huh? Good luck. Good luck. Do not uh, do not test me. Um, unbreakable. Oh, interesting. Very very interesting indeed. He really wants us to try to get over here, huh? Um, it goes up, and I hear a spider. But now I'm tempted to want to want to try to get over here. Let's let's use the blocks or the, uh, the the chests. I think I think we can do that. And anything over in that direction doesn't look like it. Grab both of the chests, and let's grab the glowstone as well. That's two pieces of, of glowstone. Not enough. Hey, where did you come from, guy? Oh, there's a lot of mobs over there. A lot of mobs over there. Um, let's see here. How do I want to do this? Something like that, perhaps. And jump. And jump. And we should easily be able to make that. You go down there, guy. Let's go ahead and place the chest. Hey, we made it over here. Pickaxe. Yes, please. I will take it. I will most certainly take it. And we are playing in 1.11.2. For some reason, I thought this map was much, much older uh, than it is. Oh, do not die to the baby. Do not die to the baby. And just, just lots of zombies. Okay, lots of zombies. I want the chest so that we have some form of block. Um... All right, and I hear the spider. Hello there, Mr. Spider. I guess we could... Well, I have a pickaxe now, right? I don't need to farm spider webs. Let's just go ahead and place that right there. And let's grab ourselves some blocks now. There is a chest over there. The uh, the loot distribution is really nice so far. I'm, I'm liking it. Very, very nice. And just the, the netherrack really, really makes the dungeon, I think. Alright, cover up most of those holes. We have another spider spawner over here. Let's just go ahead and do something like that. Spam sword. 
an unbreakable iron sword with crazy attack speed. That's interesting. I will take it. I will most certainly take it. Oh, look look at you spawning on the outside. So very talented there, Mr. Mr. Spider. Let's prevent that from happening. I think is what we want to do. And let's go ahead and continue on. It looks like there might be something back here. Oh, well. That's interesting. That's a lot of mobs. Very nice. I think that's a that's a wonderful decision on the part of the map maker to have max spawn conditions. It uh, makes for a more challenging experience. Oh, and he dropped his iron sword, although we have an unbreakable one. <laughs> just, just spam. Spam all this stuff. I figure that I have a bow. So we should probably try to use that, I think. That was pretty cool. You see that the witch launched the, uh, the potion? Will you die already? There, lady. Thank you. Thank you. And it does the swipe attack every time. Am, am I seeing that correct? Alright, uh... Let's get in here. And try to slow down some of the mob spawns. I saw that... That flare up. We need to get over here. Okay. There is... Nope, I wanted you to take that out, Mr. Creeper. Or not. Or not. Oh gosh. Okay. Run away. Run away. Run away. Def definitely want to run away. Although we don't want things to spawn more. That would not be good. Where did that creeper come from, anyways? Oh man. Apples. Apples are the best food choice ever. Well done. Well done, God, King, Emperor. Lord and Savior of C all that that is CTM, something like that. I forget your entire title. I I'm sorry. Do I do apologize? You'll have to forgive me. Show mercy. Show mercy. Oh hey, there's a chest right here. With gravel smasher. Uh, sure. We will put that right there, and we will take all of the cobwebs. I thank you very much. You know what we need. We need a hat. See? Lowell's is just, he knows exactly, exactly what to do. By far, the most talented map maker that ever was. Um, Alright, we got Blaze. Let's take them out from a distance. And do not burn down my wood. People. I do not want to get lit on fire, but I do not want to die to the zombies either. Let's try to take out Mr. Blaze. Skeleton, go away. Pretty, pretty, please. Oh, come on. Come on, get that health back up. Come on, meow, Mr. Blaze. You can die. Thank you very much. All right, let's eat some more food and take out Mr. Zombie, I suppose, although we're getting kind of low on arrows. You just, like, came out of that zombie's butt, dude. That was that was interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. We have wood. We have real cobble. We need to get over here and take out, take out these Blaze first and foremost. Like a so. And then where are you at there, guy? Creepers, spiders. All of the evil, evil stuff. Um, Alright, let's take out... Oh, I saw that. And I saw you spawn there, guy. Where you be? Got it. Boy, the uh, the spawn rates are pretty pretty high, which again I think is a really good good decision on Lil's part. Hello there, Mr. Zombie. We're gonna have lots and lots of the flesh. 
One thing to be happy about, I suppose. Alright, I'm guessing that there is another zombie spawner over here in this gravel, since that seems to be where they are. Yes, indeed. Go ahead and take you out. We got ourselves a leather tunic. We can make some torches using the wood. Is this, uh... What is this? What are you there, I think? Um, oh, oh, hey. Yeah, that is that is one of the most beautiful wool box designs I think I've ever seen. And let's just go ahead and take all of it. I think that is the correct decision to make. Another chest with an efficiency 2 wood pick. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and make a furnace and cook up some charcoal. And I will be back with you here momentarily. All right, all geared and ready to go, I do believe. A lot of mobs down there, but we can just run across. That was that was somewhat challenging though. That was a nice little nice little addition, added some variation to the gameplay there. Very nice. I feel like there might be something behind this, but you know what, even if there's not, that's perfectly fine too. Uh, it's just a good source of, of, of flint, I see. Okay, well, well, well done, well done. Uh, blocks, wood, uh, just what I was looking for. I will take take that much, I think. Let's go ahead and light things up. Um, Alright, I think this is the intersection. This is a short map, by the way. There's only three dungeons, I believe. Hardened Beginnings and uh, Count Wolfrio's World. That's, that's one of the best names I've ever heard. Rockbound Grotto. And monument. Okay, very nice. I like the simple monument. No, no fancy names or anything. That's definitely one of the the big problems with uh with modern CTMs is that they're just trying to trying to do too much. Sometimes simplicity is the key. Area order monument. Rockbound Grotto. Count Wolfric's world. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, and there's something down there as well. We will have to investigate that. We're supposed to head to the monument first. I want to check out this this amazing statue right here. Obsidian statue. This is a, a, <laughs> a self-portrait of, of Lowell. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he's going for here. But it works. It works. It definitely works. Um... Protection 3, they're not unbreaking like these are, but they're st still significantly better. We'll go ahead and take those. That was a nice find. Um, looks like there might be something up here as well. Or oh, that that all connects, but what is over here? Shall we investigate? I think we shall. Just in case we find something worthwhile. Nope, it all just kind of connects. All right, lovely, lovely. We let's go ahead and check out the monument area. I'm sure it's just gonna blow us away. Very nice. Ooh, ooh, I like the squid too. Oh, and it and it comes with mobs. Uh, that's helpful. Oh, don't go in the lava there, guy. Definitely don't want don't want to do that. Uh, seeds and diamond hoes so we can farm our own stuff. I like that decision as well. I hate it when map makers just give me all the things in the world and expect me to do no work for them. I think we want to light this up. It is what we want to do, just so mobs do not blow things up. But that's nice. He made he ma even made the uh, the monument area a challenge. Good to see that. Okay, uh, oh, 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 stop, stop. Um, I mean, keep going, keep going, yes, yes, just shower me, shower me with your apple -y, torchy goodness. 
Oh gosh, it's going to start lagging things out though. Too many entities on the ground. And nothing happens. Alright. Very nice. Bonus cat. I guess we can go ahead and place the white wool. Go ahead and do that. And we'll just do something like this. Nice little... Uh, nice little something. Something or other. Okay. Oh gosh, don't don't walk in the lava there, guy. Let's continue lighting this up. Um, do I want to mess around with this? I think I do. Lowell's gave it to us, so we might as well make use of it, right? Right. I think that makes sense. All right, we don't have that much time left, but I figured we would uh, head into the next area. Um, which is Rockbound Grotto, although there was this location below as well. I'm hearing a skelly, but I do not see where the skelly is. Let's go ahead and jump down. And take lots and lots of the damage. Block has been placed. Um, ooh. Interesting. Not really something I was expecting to see there. Go ahead and die, Mr. Skelly. Um, let's light that up. And let's do the same thing to the creeper that we did to the skeleton. Like so. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff. So nice to see a map maker actually trying to make things challenging here. Alright, everybody has been taken care of. Hopefully that cleared things out here at the start. Not quite. Got it. Light up all the things. All the things shall be lit. Okay, our spawners are down below. Got it. Do not want to knock out my torches, though. Let's just go ahead and take you out. And you out. And there was a sign, I'm pretty sure. Um... Alright, how do I want to do this? I don't want to waste all of my ar uh, arrows. Bonus dungeon blast core. Maybe, maybe we want to save this till closer to the end. Perhaps. I think is what we want to do. <laughs> yes, indeed. Let's, let's go ahead and get a sneak peek at the next dungeon. But this will most likely have to wait until next episode. Something like that, and let's make sure we light it up so that we don't, do not run into any extra problems. All right, we have Rockbound Grotto. Go ahead and take out the bat. Sneaky Skeleton. I like the decision to not give the player a shield either. Makes me... Uh, Makes me be extra, extra cautious and extra strategic in my gameplay. Alright, Archer fight, Archer fight, and I am the victor. I do want your bones, please, if you dropped any for us, that is. I uh, see... I think that's rocks... Rock's head right there. Interesting choice. <clears throat> and that's it for arrows. I see quite a few spawners. There's iron as well. I did not bring my stone pick with me. Uh, those are slabs. Okay. And these are silverfish. 
Good to know, good to know. I definitely don't want to lose this invincible sword. So we will try our best to hang on to it. Oh gosh. And hang it hang on to the web too, apparently. Blazes are gonna be difficult without any arrows. So we're gonna have to get creative here, I think. Um, I think I just want to try to rush. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's rushing there, guy. Well done, well done. All right, spawn her down. Spawn her down. Let's eat the foods. Oh really, really, guy? That was pretty talented. Not sure how you pulled that one off. Gold pick. Blaze taken care of. Spider taken care of. And the other spiders do not seem to be interested in me for whatever reason. There they go. Um, that's a lot of a lot of spawners. A lot a lot of spawners. All right, light you up. Make sure we don't die to lay spiders to the, to the lava. And you. And you. And you. Oh, I guess there's apparently a skelly after us. Good to know. Alright. Now I, th I, th I think it's time that we call the episode probably gotten gotten to be long enough and next episode we will we will continue on in rockbound grotto all right that's going to be it for me for today thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time